My name is Don Cipollini. I'm a professor of biology at Wright State University and director of the Environmental Sciences PhD program. We're standing along the, the Little Miami River bike trail in Yellow Springs, Ohio. This stretch of trail happens to hold a number of these trees called white fringe trees, which are a close relative of ash trees. What I hold in my hand is a tree that I discovered in 2014 being utilized by emerald ash borer that proved to be quite a surprise and a shock to most people. You could clearly start to uh, see the feeding galleries of the larvae in the tree. Further investigation of the tree later revealed an adult that was trapped in the wood that received the positive identification as emerald ash borer. And it's just a weak looking canopy compared to what a healthy white fringe tree would look like. And that's an indicator that something's going on inside the bark there that's preventing the movement of water and nutrients between the canopy, the, the leafy part of the tree, and the roots below ground. There is an old adult exit hole on this tree right here. So I'm revealing a, a feeding gallery that would have been produced in 2014 by an emerald ash borer larva. Oh my gosh, this is feeding this year. There's a live larva right there. This is this, is this year's feeding gallery, and there's a live emerald ash borer larva right there. Yeah. This tree, when I did my invis initial investigations last year, looked better. And I didn't see that old exit hole, apparently, and I didn't call this one infested last year. But now I've learned you really have to look a little closer. You will find that they, they very often are infested, even if you don't think so. Obviously, for these trees to get attacked by emerald ash borer, there has to be some of them around. I don't necessarily think this tree is as attractive as green ash and white ash is, but if you have enough beetles flying around in search of a host that they will find it. I now believe after investigations in the Springfield, Dayton, Cincinnati areas, along with new investigations in Chicago this year, that we will see this happen anywhere a white fringe tree comes in contact with sufficient pressure from emerald ash borer. It doesn't mean they will die, but they certainly probably will be attacked. The beetle didn't simply move to white fringe tree because it ran out of ash trees to eat. There are still ash trees around in this area. It likely found white fringe tree because it smells and tastes like the ash trees that it normally eats. My lab and, and Wright State are the folks who made this discovery and sort of launched this new direction in the field of emerald ash borer research. And so we certainly hope to uh, lead the pack in, in that area.